we want to take the drama of learning the trick to the crowd, to the stadium, and get the crowd behind the riders to really try that dream trick of theirs. The idea was to have a format that doesn't penalise riders for crashing. Because in a run format, they have 60 seconds to ride a course, and pretty much if they crash during their run, they pretty much get a bad score and they're out of the contest. So this was an, a format that allows riders to, instead of playing it safe and worrying they're going to crash a trick, give them an allocated time slot. And they can try that trick as many times as they want. They're not penalised for falling. And if they pull their trick in that time, they're rewarded for it. The idea is not really a new idea, if I'm honest. Best trick contests, they've gone down for years. And for me, the best atmosphere for the crowd and for the riders is when they do a best trick contest. Let's celebrate everyone for what they do and give them a chance to have their moment. The way we ride at home with our friends is when a rider, when our friend tries a trick and he crashes, we say, you got that, try it again, you got that, you know? And this is the same format we wanted to create in a contest where the crowd are gonna be like, come on, you got that, and pick them up. It celebrates different styles of riding. For example, if you do a double tail whip to foot jam, to bar spin in, you're un unlikely to ever do that during a 60 second run because it's, it's hard to do that first go. So why not have a round on a sub box where it's like, right, sub box round, you've got 15 minutes, you can try those tricks, you know? And then we'll have a high air round where someone like Dugan can come along and go, I'm gonna smash high air, you know? And then you have a box jump round where some of the big park guys are gonna excel, but then even someone like Bruno Hoffman could ride in the box jump round because he can do a 540 over the box. And then the all round rider at the end, someone like Dennis Henderson might take the win but Dugan will you know, get top three in the high air and uh, Garrett Reynolds could do really well in the rail round. Uh, the event was so good. It's the first time I've read a format like this. Normally at a contest, it's like, you gotta land everything first go. Yes, yeah, the boys having a big session, trying tricks you've never tried before. If you fall off, it don't matter. Get back up and go again. Everyone's rooting for each other. Couldn't have asked for a better event, really. Well, for the progression of the sport, that format's the only way it's gonna get pushed real hard. Honestly, it's like a normal session that we have at Corby, but the ramp's three times as big. Everything is 10 times faster, and everyone's got a massive. But it's been amazing. Like, the opportunity to be here is unreal. And then to come out like this, even better without knocking myself out. <laughs> so. Today's been a bit of a journey. I've had to have a serious word with myself because I know I'm capable of a few things, but it's just scary, man. You've got to soak yourself out. And then we all had a chat and we were like, right, boys, let's stop trying to compete. Let's just all go up there, have fun, and try and do some shit that we ain't done before. And I think it went pretty well. <laughs> I haven't pushed myself this hard under this pressure for a long time, you know what I mean? And to wake up this morning knowing today I've got to do the biggest and hardest tricks that I can do, it's quite a mad feeling. It's all about that one focus, you know, we run one thing at a time. You haven't got a plan how you're going to get there or anything like that. So it's giving you the opportunity to only think about doing the biggest trick you can and get back on the bike. And I think having that and it being so quick paced, it starts to become like a session with the boys where you're all trying to progress. I mean, you all want to one-up each other and everything, but you know how big what is on the line. I think mean, this was just a test event and you saw how hard people went, not me, and we had a crowd of maybe 20 downhill riders and staff. And the plan is to get this somewhere where there's an audience of thousands, you know what I mean? So I think when it goes there, I think it's just amazing for pushing BMX in the right direction. We're just growing tricks and it's just like, it's on its own spectrum, you know what I mean? This is going to be its own league of tricks that are going to go down at this competition that can't really be done anywhere else in the world.
it went, it went all right. I mean, it wasn't bad. No, it was, it was amazing. Like, there's a lot of times where I, I thought I was done. Like, I was like, right, I'm happy with what I've done. I'll, I'll stay in fourth or whatever. And then it's like, you just need that little bit, push yourself over the edge. And like, I remember on the quarter round, I was pretty happy being in, I think like third. And then like, I was like, look, I, I know I've got this in the bag. If I don't do it, I'm gonna beat myself up about it. And it was th the best facilities for it. You know what I mean? The best crowd, like what better moment to get in and send it. And so like to do something on the buzzer, oh, it, it was unreal. <laughs> I got kind of emotional at the end, if I'm, if I'm honest. Like all the riders just got together, like huddled up. They were all like screaming for each other, cheering for each other. And it was kind of like, that's the essence of what it was all about. And that's kind of the essence of, of a comp always. You know, you want, you want that feeling. The stoke was just unbelievable. And everybody was just, yeah, going crazy. I thought it went damn well. We really want this to go big next year. And Red Bull like to go big. They like to do events properly. And so for me, I'm super excited to to hopefully take this to a big crowd next year in a glamorous location with good prize money, with the best of the best riders in the world, in a format that allows them to really go for those tricks they really want to try.